SEQ Waters Dam Levels page has been created to provide both up-to-date and historical information about Southeast Queensland's water supply. You can access the information by visiting the SEQ Water website and clicking on the SEQ Water Grid graphic located in the top right section of the homepage or by clicking on the Dam Levels icon. You can also go directly to the page at this address. Once you're on the Dam Levels page, you can scroll down to access data across three key sections of water supply information. By clicking on each section, you can see when the data on the page was last updated. The Dam Level section shows information about the water grid storage capacity, which is the average level of our 12 key drinking water dams combined. Scroll down in this tab to view the latest dam level info for each of the 25 dams SEQ Water manages across the region. You can adjust the order of the information by clicking on the headings for each column. For example, you can list them by alphabetical order or current volume. If a dam has a small question mark next to its name, that means there is some additional information relating to its current supply level. To view this information, Click on the question mark icon. The comment column on the right indicates if we are making controlled water releases from our gated dams or if an ungated dam has exceeded its full supply level and is spilling. At the bottom of this section, you can also see the current flood storage capacity of our two largest gated dams, Wyvernhoe and Somerset. This table shows you when the flood storage compartments are in use and how much flood storage capacity is available. Dam level data is updated regularly each day. In the Catchment Average Rainfall tab, you can view the amount of rain that has been recorded across the dam catchments for SEQ Water's 12 key drinking water storages over a seven-day rolling period. Catchment rainfall data is updated once a day. The final tab on the right shows the average daily residential water usage across southeast Queensland for the past two weeks. Scroll down to see how much water was produced and consumed across the region, with data also broken down into water service provider regions. For example, the Urban Utilities Row accounts for those living in the Brisbane and Greater Ipswich region. Daily production amounts are recorded in megalitres or million litres and average consumption is recorded as litres per person per day. In this section, you can also compare the water consumption data against what it was this time last year. Water usage data calculated across the previous fortnight is updated every Friday afternoon. If you're interested in seeing where dam levels were in the past, you can do so by clicking on the View Historic Dam Levels button located here. This link takes you to an interactive storage graph where you can view and compare various dam levels over time. By default, the graph is set to display the SEQ water grid levels for the past five years. But if you click on the Select Dam Storage drop-down button, you can select and deselect individual dams. If you hover the cursor over a point in the chart, it will give you information on the storage level and the corresponding date. So, let's say we want to get historical data for the Wyvernhoe Dam to see when the last time its storage levels were as low as they are now. Select Wyvernhoe and go back to the chart. Use the preset date filters and click on All. As we can see by using the chart, the last time Wyvernhoe was this low was early 2009. You can also use the date filters to customize your date range. For example, say you wanted to see the change in Wyvernhoe's levels since the start of the year. You would use the calendar picker to make your selection. This historical dam storage data only dates back to July 2008 when SEQ Water was established. If you require historical data before that date, or if you can't find what you're looking for, contact the SEQ Water team at communications at seqwater.com.au.